let's just say I can see why they only made three shades. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to convert your powder products into cream. Stay tuned if you want to find out which powders blend better once they become creams. So I'm going to be starting off with the Maybelline Powder Foundation. I didn't realize how hard it was to find a powder foundation in Walmart. And when I finally found this one, the color selection consisted of light orange, medium orange, and dark orange. Is Maybelline trying to make us all look like Oompa Loompas? I don't know. I don't have a professional glass palette, so I just took a plate that we usually use for cake. We love multi-purpose things. <laughs> and a spoon, because a spoon always comes in handy. So the fun part about my videos is that I never actually test any of my ideas beforehand to see how they work. So this video could go really well or really bad. Adding some more because Lord knows this face needs it. If anybody has cupcakes that need to be frosted, just give me a call because I am ready with the chocolate mousse. Definitely not my color, but I already gave that disclaimer. Oh. Oh wow, this spreads. Like, you do not need a lot of this. So it actually turned out better than I was expecting it to, except next time I would just choose a better powder foundation because this one... Let's just say I can see why they only made three shades. So the moisturizer that I'm using is the CeraVe, CeraVe, this one, um, mainly because I didn't want to waste my more expensive moisturizers. So I couldn't find a powder concealer. They don't exist. At least here in Canada. We're already used to not having any of the cool things. But I found this Maybelline Fit Me for normal to dry skin, which is kind of what my under eyes are. So let's see what happens. <laughs> I'll use my spoon to scrape it. When it comes to makeup, you can always improvise. For example, when I'm having bad skin days, which is more days than not, I'll put on my concealer as foundation and then my powder foundation as setting powder. You may think that's a lot of coverage. And you're right. I think I chose the wrong cream. She thick. She very thick. And she moving all over my face. <laughs> now before I age myself anymore, we're gonna stop with the concealer because it's not working. When I touch my face, it isn't tacky at all, which is shocking. I think the mistake that I made with my concealer is putting in too much cream. Now we know. You yeah. So I look like a kid playing in makeup. Which is actually what I feel like too. <laughs> this Sephora blush has outlived all of my makeup products. Even my relationships and my jobs. That's how she looks. Here goes nothing. Blend, 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 blend. Okay guys, we found one hack. You can make your own cream blush at home and have it blend into your skin like honey. Honey doesn't blend, honey sticks. Butter, butter, butter. How could I forget butter? My favorite meal of the day. <laughs> For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Park Avenue Princess by Tarte, mainly because I want to use it up so I can get rid of it. <laughs> Let's chisel her out. Mm. So 
So we're going to use this as a teaching lesson. This happens when you put on too much product and can't blend it out. And this happens when you control yourself and only put on a touch. Control yourself. <laughs> Next up, champagne pop. Is it possible for it to pop anymore? We're about to find out. Oh, whoa. That looks good. Now I can see why Becca came out with so many formulas for champagne pop, cause she popping. <laughs> Once again, this side is looking better. Why? Because I ran out of product and couldn't slather on as much as I did on my right side. <laughs> so I have a question for you guys. My face is usually oily. The only way to describe it is you could definitely fry eggs on my face and not have to worry about them sticking. But since I started using retinol, my face has become more dry. Ooh, my hand got stuck in my hair. That was intense. <laughs> but now that I started using retinol, my face has gotten more dry, which is why I kind of want to test out cream products. Would you guys rather have oily skin with pimples or dry skin with wrinkles. I'm still trying to figure that one out and if anyone has some advice, please let me know. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe. And if you didn't enjoy it, still subscribe.